Hi everybody, Old Comet Collector back again with another video. Another submission video this time, but a little bit different. CBCS. Let's see what we got. Seven books going off to CBCS via a UK third party grader. Hobgoblin's Hideaway. I'll pop the link down the bottom. Seven books. These are all signed books, which is why it's CBCS, so I can get the nice blue label. If you do send signatures off to CGC, you will come back with a green label that just says something like name written on cover in the description on the label, which isn't so good. I want that blue label, so it's CBCS for these. My first submission to CBCS, so it'll be interesting to see what we get back and what the grades might be. Okay, first book. Secret Invasion 1. This is a variant edition. This is a sketch variant signed by Brian Michael Bendis there on the top. Brian Michael Bendis is the writer of this book. Lovely Steve McNiven cover artwork on that one. Beautiful looking sketch. Uh, I got this one. Got another one as well. Both of them have got a sealed uh, certificate of authenticity. Now apparently CBCS are not bothered whether you've got this or not. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to be taking the uh, certificate out and I'll just keep that with the slab when it comes back. Let me know what you guys do if you submit to CBCS with certificates, whether you send them off or take them out before they go. Um, I looked at some messages, videos, etc. Seems some people get them sent back, some people don't, so it's a bit of a 50-50 gamble. Obviously, once the signature's verified, which is what uh, CBCS do with these signatures, they verify that they are, they are real and authentic then you don't need the certificate as such, so uh, I should probably take it out. It's one of a limited series of four. Four copies signed by Brian Michael Bendis. So that's the first one. As I said, got another one, slightly different, a colour version. Twelve copies of these. Um, you can see there, this is number 10 of 12. And if you see it on the side, it's four of four. Get a nice bend of squiggle on the front. Both of these, I think, are going to be at least 9.6. I am hoping for a 9.8, but we'll go 9.6 on these two. 9.8 would be great. Again, you got the certificate on the back. 12 copies signed. Back in 2008, I think this was. Next up, you all know this one. Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight. First appearance of the black costume, later becomes Venom. Signed on the bottom there by Mike Zek. Again, a lot of these uh, Apart from those first two, these books, these other books are not high grade, but uh, I just want the signatures verified really. I think this is around an 8.5 on this. On a good day, maybe we'll hit a 9. I prefer a 9 on these. The higher the grade on these books, the better. We'll get that signature verified. Certainly looks like other ones I've seen. Why might Zach? Got to have some X Men going off, even for signature verification. X Men 64. First appearance of Sunfire, again got a nice stamp there and a little bit of ink with it there on the cover. Very much a mid-grade book, signed there by Roy Thomas who wrote the story. I think this one's around a 5-0, it's a flat bang in the middle. Nice presenting copy though. Now on these uh, 64s look out for the purple colour because it can be really bright on some, very dull on others. Doesn't look too bad on this one. Some more X-Men. Got both of these uh, from the same seller. Another Roy Thomas signature across the logo. The UK variant on this one, X-Men 60. First appearance of Sauron. And he's on the cover. Around about 6.5 on this. Not quite as bad as the last one. Now, last two. These are a little bit different. Wolverine number one. You've seen this before on previous videos. Um, 1988, first ongoing series. 
I'm looking at that and thinking, hang on a minute, there is no signature on there. And you'd be right, there's no signature on the cover of this one. Actually signed inside, which a lot of a lot of creators used to do back in the day. I used to sign it on the bottom of the first page, and that hopefully is a Chris Claremont signature on that one. The writer of the series, the writer of X-Men, really pleased if that one comes back verified. Quite a clean copy this one, it does have a mark, I'm not sure what it is, couldn't get it off, there's some mark in there on the black on the back cover. Again, hoping for around an 8.5 on this, but it's that signature that makes it special. So we'll see what we get. In my opinion, possibly after the passing of Stan Lee, uh, Chris Claremont's signatures are probably the most sought after, particularly with the X-Men books. And here's the last one. Uncanny X-Men, one, two, one. First full appearance of Alpha Flight. Nice scent copy. And again, as you can see, there is no signature on the front of that one because again, it's inside. Again, I think this is around about an 8.5. A few little creases, few spine ticks. They're just going to keep it down. Um, when I bought this, actually, I was just buying an X-Men 121. Just popping one in the... Uh, in the collection. Didn't realise it had a signature on it until I opened the first page and I was really pleased to see it actually had two signatures on it. Chris Claremont again and this one is a very rare John Byrne signature I'm hoping. John Byrne the artist of X-Men, one of my favourites for a long time. So having that double signed by both co-creators is really good. And signed on that inside cover. So probably signed quite a while ago, that one. Just looking at that now on a good day again, we might hit I know on that one. That would be brilliant. Really nice looking copy. So there we go. Seven books off to CBCS. First submission. We'll see how we get on. See how long they take to come back. Um, I'm not sure what the turnaround time is for signatures at the moment. And just before we go, you might have seen uh, this little fella up in the corner. Nice 9.6 copy of Young Avengers 6. All it says on the, um, on the label is Avengers appearance, but this is the first appearance of Cassie Lang as stature. And there she is on the cover as well. We know she's coming in Atman and the Wasp Quantum Mania. And this is going to be a giveaway. Just hit 470 subscribers. Thanks so much for all your support on this channel. Everyone who's subscribed. Uh, if you know one who might like a video like this, please share it. Give it a like. And let's see if we can hit that 500 subscribers. When we do, this will be going to one lucky viewer. Details to come of how to do it, but we'll do the old random YouTube comment method uh, and give this one away. Yeah, nice 9.6. Could possibly crack that for a 9.8 because there is one little dink there which I think isn't colour breaking. But that's up to you guys. I'll keep him up there. We'll be giving him away and this one could be yours. Um, I'll deliver this out to wherever you are. So uh, it doesn't matter which country you're in. If you're the lucky winner, this will make its way to you. So good luck. So there we go. Short video, another submission, different grader. We'll see how we get on. I've been the old comic collector. I'll see you on the next video. You all take care. Bye for now.